In this series of videos, we'll be animating a bar swing like this one, and the goal, or at least one of the goals, will be to practice IK-FK switching in animation. In a previous video, I explained the basics of the IK-FK switch, so start there if you haven't watched it already. I'm going to share the full playlist in the description. This video will guide you through the blocking stage of our animation, so let's get going. Okay, let's start animating. And the first step is to block out your key poses. So at this stage, we'll be focusing on the key poses, and so we'll be using constant interpolation between the keyframes, just like I demonstrated for the IKFK switch. If you want to, you can go to Edit Preferences Animation, and you can switch default interpolation to constant. Uh, but I won't do this, because then I will have to switch it back to Bezier, so I'll keep my default settings. And instead, when I set the keyframes, I'll then select them, press T, and choose constant. Okay, so let's get the character in position. I'm going to select the armature in object mode and move it back a little bit. And then I'll go to pose mode. Here we may want to clean up our rig a little bit uh, to make it easier to work with. I'll definitely hide the tweak layers. And normally you would either hide the IK or the FK, uh, whichever you're not using. But in this case, I'll be using both uh, during the animations, so I'll leave them visible. Okay, now I want to go to the first frame and I want to mimic this pose that we have here. So I'll go to side view and lower the body of the character. The legs are in IK mode just, I, just as I want it. The arm should be in FK though. And I also found that uh, having the FK limb follow option on is good for this animation. So I'm going to turn it on for legs and arms. And let's also key our IK and FK uh, sliders. So I'll select each limb and press I over the IK FK slider. Cool, now I can try to match the pose of the arms and I'm going to be using the X mirror option over here and that will allow me to quickly pose both arms at the same time. And we are going to break this symmetry at the end. The direction of the head is important. It will show what the character is thinking or trying to do. So let's make her look at the bar. And in this video, I'll be using Auto King. I forgot to turn it on, so let's do it now. And then I'll take each of the controls that I used and I'm going to move them slightly so that a keyframe is recorded. Okay, so that could be our first key pose. So let's go to the next. So we have the character lowering his body weight and preparing for the jump. So I'm going to put both legs on the ground using X mirror and lower the body. And let's move to the next pose. So now I want my character to extend her legs. And while we are here, I'm going to select the IK control for the leg. And I'm going to turn off IK stretch. I don't want it for this animation. And I'm going to do the same for the arms as well. Okay, so now when I start overextending the legs, the character will actually leave the ground, so that will let me know that I'm really overextending the legs. And here I actually want to raise the character on her toes and extend the legs, raise the arms like in the reference. Always consider the shoulders as well. Okay, the arms are trying to reach for the bar. 
something like this. I'm uh, going through an animation and I'm noticing two problems. First, the character has the toes raised throughout the whole, whole animation. So I need to go to the second pose and actually bring those in the default pose. So I need to press Alt R and same for the other one so that the keyframe is recorded. And the other problem is that I still have interpolation. So I'm going to select all of these uh, widgets and then select all of the keyframes, press T in this area and choose constant. And now, even if I play the animation, Blender will only show me the key poses and no interpolation between them. And that will help us focus on the actual poses and not on the motion. Okay, so here is the important point where the character will switch from IK to FK. So what we need to do is select any of the FK widgets and press FK to IK. And we have to do it for the other limp as well, even though we have the X mirror here. It doesn't work with this function, so just press it again for the other foot, for the other leg. Okay, and we also want to switch IK to 1. Also for the other leg. And now if I try to move the torso, you'll see that the legs are already in FK mode. But if we scrub through the existing animation, you'll see that they'll stay in IK mode for these first two poses. And here uh, is our switch. Now, when we switch to FK mode, uh, the toes change a little bit. Uh, we'll handle this a little bit later. And let's move on to the next pose. So here we have the character grabbing the bar. So if I go to object mode and enable uh, X-ray and maybe wireframe, then we can see where the bar is. So I'm going to move the body so that the arms are at the bar. And then at this point, we want to switch to IK mode. So I'm going to snap my IK to the FK and same with the other arm. And then I'm going to switch to IK mode for both arms. So here you'll see that the character is already uh, in IK mode and it appears as if it's grabbing the, the bar. So here I'll actually keep tweaking this pose in IK mode because it is a little bit easier to find the position of the hands. Okay, I also want the, the fingers to grab the bar, so let's create a pose for that. If I switch to individual origins and scale these uh, widgets for Rigify, that will bend the fingers. And I also want to rotate them, something like this. Then the thumb will need a special treatment. I actually didn't want to bend it too much. Okay, tweaking the fingers can be time consuming, but take your time to make it look good. And here is where we can use this special widget that we generated with our rig. If I place it right at the center of the bar and rotate it, the hands are rotating exactly around the bar. If I use the standard hand widget instead, you'll see that they rotate around the wrists, and so if the hands need to rotate, we'll have to rotate and also move the widget, which is possible, but it is more work. And while we are there, we can also place this additional spine widget in the same position. And now if I rotate it, you'll see that it kind of makes the whole character rotate around the bar. And that could be nice, you feel free to use it, um, but I won't use it in this example. Now, again, I want to make sure that all keyframes are in constant mode. And we can move on to the next pose.
Here I'm going to use this handy little control that we have. And then I want to drop the torso down until the arms start to overextend a little bit. By the way, you can hold shift to fine tune the pose. Here I see that the arms may be a little bit too far apart, so in the previous pose, I'm going to bring them a little bit closer together. And let's move to the next pose. Here I actually want the legs to follow the body, so I'm going to turn off the FK limb follow option. Let's pay attention to the elbows. And I feel like I haven't paid attention to the head. So let's align it. If you set a keyframe that is not exactly on the marker, you can always select it and move it with G. And let's move on. So here the character swings to create momentum. Bring the arms in an almost overextended position. And next, the character can start swinging backwards. So again, as a reminder, if you're using a rig without this control, you'll, you would have to rotate the arms and then move them into place. Do not overextend the arms too much because it leads to a little bit of a snapping effect that doesn't look very nice. Okay, the next pose is important again. This is where the character will let go of the bar, which means that we have to switch the arms to FK mode again. Always pay attention to the direction of the elbow in the reference. Okay, and here I have to switch to FK mode. And I'll also snap the FK to IK so that we have a clean transition. Okay, boom. And from here I can work in FK mode. 
So here, if I try to tweak the pose, because I'm already in FK mode, it will affect the way uh, the arms are positioned. So I just have to go back to the FK controls and snap FK to IK. Okay, the next pose is the character actually landing on the ground. So let's prepare the IK feet. I want them to be just below the character. So I'm going to select them and move them forward like this. And then I'm going to bring the character down and snap FK to IK. And then also switch to IK mode. Okay, now I can start establishing the, the, land, the landing. And I can also make sure the feet are on the ground. And I also want to bring the fingers in the default position. Alt S, Alt R. Maybe a little bit of bend. And then let's quickly create the last two poses. Okay, I think these key poses will work well. This was the blocking stage of our swing animation. In the next videos, we'll keep refining the motion until we get something like this. These videos will be uploaded to CG Dive in the coming weeks, so subscribe with notifications to make sure you don't miss them. You can also check out the playlist in the video description and see if the videos have already been released. All of my new videos go straight to my Patreon and Gumroad subscriptions, so you can check those out if you want to get early access. And big thanks to my supporters, by the way. See you in another video.